Welcome back students. I am Sandy Kulkarni and I am going to go over with some more important terminology in pre-AP chemistry. Okay, so these are the common terms which we use, which we refer to when we talk about many chemicals. Sometimes there are some safety warnings which are listed and they are outside the container and also they are on MSDA sheet. So one of the terms which we have is corrosive. Then we have a term called toxic. Then we have something irritant, carcinogenic, flammability and radioactivity. All these terms indicate that the chemical is hazardous or it has got some safety requirement. So the first one which we have is corrosive and corrosive is the substance which eats away objects including the skin. So corrosive is the one which can attack or which can burn the skin. You have to be very careful when we use the corrosive substances in our lab. Okay. The next one which we have is toxic and as a simple toxic word means it's poisonous. So those substances are always poisonous. The next one is irritant and again as the word suggests it irritates, it causes irritation of the skin. So it causes rash or some allergic reaction which will be bothering us sometimes. The next one which we have is carcinogenic. And the term carcinogenic always refers to a chemical which can cause cancer. We have to be very careful when we use these chemicals in our lab. Okay. The other one is flammability which means the chemical is flammable. It can easily set on fire or it can be combustible. Again, we have to be very careful when we use uh, those atoms in the lab. The last one which we have on the list is radioactivity. A radioactive substance will always emit some radiations and radiations could be hazardous to health. So these are all important terms which we have learned about the chemicals and each of those terms indicate the chemical could be a hazardous chemical and we have to be very careful when we handle these chemicals. We are going to move on to the next topic which is NFPA diamond. The term NFPA refers to as National Fire Protection Association and as you look in the figure it's like a diamond and in that diamond there are small squares, there are four squares. Each square is of different color. We have blue, red, yellow and the last one is white. The one at the bottom is white. Now you might think that what does the, those numbers indicate? There are some numbers on each of the square. Those numbers mean something and also each of that color represents something else. So the blue color box corresponds to what we call as health. Then the red is with the flammability yellow is reactivity and white will be always giving you some special features. Now there is a simple way to remember this. We actually made a phrase in our class which worked very well. We write here H, F, R and S and then we can make a phrase. So your first word is Harry you can put Henry if you want. Harry fires, okay, like Harry Potter fires red socks. If we imagine that Harry Potter has some magic gun and he's firing red socks through that. Okay, you can come up with some other term if you like. So with this term, you know, this is H, this is F here, this is R here, and this is S. So it indicates we talk about health, flammability, reactivity and some special features. Okay, by the way, OX which is here, 
that stands for oxidation okay that's the oxidation number moving on to a real NaPa diamond with some numbers the only difference is this one is without the colors and we made it easier for you so you can identify the hazards so this one is health hazard flammability reactivity and special information remember Harry fires red socks and it's all simple now there will be some numbers and what do the all these numbers mean each of the numbers have some meaning okay so the number zero indicates there is no hazard of course number four the highest number must be deadly so you're going to go from zero to five and you're going to go from no hazard to deadly so is the increasing order of hazardness if you keep that in mind it's simple so zero is no hazard one is just slightly hazard two is hazardous which is kind of average hazard three is extreme and four is deadly so guys if you remember this it's going to be extremely simple for us to predict what the hazards are so this is an NAPA diamond for HCL and as you see there are three numbers there is nothing mentioned over here and we have to identify the meaning of each of the rating so we are going to begin with our phrase Harry that's H fires red socks okay for S it stands for something special indications and we have nothing there so there are no special dangers with the chemical now we have for health H is for health we have three for flammability and I'm just going to put flammability there we have zero there and for reactivity we have number two so zero as you know indicates there is no hazard so no hazard for the flammability health is three and if you look carefully on the scale of 0 to 4, 3 was extreme. That means this is extremely hazardous to health. It is not deadly, but it is still extremely hazardous to health. That means we have to be very careful when we handle this chemical. Reactivity is 2. That means it is slightly hazardous. It is not completely non-hazardous. It has got slight hazard. So just look at that. If you look at the diamond, NAPA diamond, we can easily predict or you can easily find out what are the hazards with respect to health, flammability, reactivity and also if there are any special hazards for any chemical. That will help us uh, in identifying special care we need to take for handling chemical and also how to store that chemical. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and then you will be able to answer the questions in the class. There will be a small quiz which you have to answer after this. Thank you.